Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 44 of Sons of Carthage and Rome as Tunis. Where we're gonna go ahead and try and beat up Britain a whole bunch. Well, for like a fourth, maybe fifth time, I'm not quite sure. Don't remember, but we're certainly gonna be bringing the pain once again. This time to the Home Isles. Which will be quite interesting. I have no doubt that France and my vassals will do just fine taking out continental Britain. Well, which is really just France. And that's about it. Yeah, there should be really no issue with that at all. And maybe we can even go ahead and grab, uh, I think it's Northumberland and London. I never really checked, to be honest with you. But we'll, uh, we'll have to... Just take whatever we want. We're probably going to do just more ref uh, rest restoration of France more than anything else because I want France to be really strong by the time we uh, break our truce and go after the Ottomans who are strong for now but we're starting to build up our strength again and they're building their strength up again as well. Uh, they've already gone ahead, paid off. Wow, a lot of loans. They've paid off more than half of their loans. so They're definitely in a, uh, a state of of recovery, so we'll, we'll just uh, we'll just strengthen France for now. I think. Unfortunately, you don't have a very good maneuver general. We can fix that though. We'll sign this guy. Yeah, that'll solve that issue. And then this guy just sort of I don't know exists for whatever he wants, which is great. But yeah, hopefully with the uh, hopefully with the invasion of oh. I think the Ottomans are going to attack Russia, if that's what I saw correctly. Ottomans are preparing to attack Russia. I don't know if that's this month or the next month, but they don't have the borders lined up yet. They don't have the troops on the borders, so I don't think that's going to happen quite yet. Which is great. Yeah, it's really good for us. Also, I should be accepting a culture, like Tuscan. I should definitely do that. And I should also... Maybe upgrade all of these to level 2 just in case, but that's not worth much. That won't pay for itself at all. Any upgrades here would definitely pay for themselves. Especially one in Rosetta. Or in Cairo. Specifically Rosetta though, because it has the Nile Estuary. Which would help out pretty significantly. Yeah, for some reason I actually don't have too much total power in here. It's mostly because... I think the Mamluks took trade and are just like transferring so much. Yeah, they they have they have merchants like everywhere. I'm I'm guessing because they must have one in like, well, you know they must have one here, 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 there, everywhere, pretty much. I don't know, but Alexandria is no longer our greatest concern. It's useful. It's great to have that money, but it's not really as necessary to focus on. Anyways, without you know dragging things on too much. Let's prepare for the war. Which will be in September, I believe, so that's next month. Spain wants military access. Nope, sorry, you get to stay split up. Truce with Britain is over. Beautiful. We'll go for some more reconquest, because we have so much of it. Uh, the Papal State is still kicking around. Uh, someone can probably deal with that. Probably. I think so. I don't think we'll have to be the one to deal with that, but... We're gonna keep... Mm, no, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep the boats in the Mediterranean, actually. Oh, mine's joined. Oh, right, we need to declare before Britain actually joins a coalition. Right, right, we can't... Can't let anyone join a coalition. Uh, the Isles has been vassalized. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna leave the boats here. That's okay. That's fine. We'll go for the reconquest of Aquitaine. And we'll start it off. And we'll, of course, set this to be France's goal immediately. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. While I go and... Grab that. And these guys should stay here for no issues at all. Go for West March and I'll go for Northumberland. And, oh, yeah, people are joining the coalitions once again. Of course they are. Of course. Why wouldn't they? 
I should find a new ally. I have some open slots available for an alliance. I have one open slot, actually. I don't need Hungary's military access any longer. So I'll go and cancel that in three days. Who else do I have to fix up here? I could support Sweden's independence. Terrible idea, but it's possible. I could ally... Oldenburg, in theory, wouldn't be terrible. It helped me out just a little bit. A few places. Yeah, when it comes to British ships, yeah, I, I just can't fight the Navy. I just can't do it. It just cannot be done. Really. Uh, okay, add some more spy network in Britain. Sounds good to me. Let's get those faster sieges done. We have plenty of time. I could burn these down, but... I have some relatively fast enough sieges. Um, you just attacked my trade fleet, which is really, really, really annoying. Goddamn. Five, six, seven. I was going to build up a whole bunch more. But you just went ahead and had to kill them, huh? Okay, so that's 15. Let me actually just go to force limit with these, I think. That should be okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Just build up a whole bunch of them. Because I have a massive, massive coastline now, so I can build all the way up to force. Maybe a little bit more as well. I do want to eventually get, what is it, 500? Is it 500 lights that I need privateering at the same time? I think it is. And that'll give me Barbarossa. Which will be quite nice. But I'll have to wait a little while on that one. I really do doubt that people will invade me. Yeah, maybe this is one of the reasons I, I haven't gotten rid of the Ottomans yet. It's just, you know, I've been able to keep these guys at bay for a long time. Hopefully I can continue to do that. For as long as I need. Britain's actually starting to build troops here, which is kind of interesting. Oh, they've gone ahead and brought some units over. Hold on. I'm going to leave some behind. This is a 3k there, but are you going to attack it? You are. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure there's no mercy on that stack. Absolutely none. We'll move back. And finish up that siege. I can also call in Brandenburg. I don't really need to, though. But, I mean, I, why shouldn't I, right? They can be a little bit helpful. In some fashion. It's not like they want any of the land, right? So I might as well call them in. Uh, what can I do here? I can't do anything because I have to wait for West March to be done. But I can come down here and... Maybe walk all the way to London, even. I don't know how many troops Britain's actually hiding in the Isles itself. So I don't know exactly what I'd have to do here. I'll get rid of that stack, though, and I'll bring these guys around here. Yeah, stack wipe those guys over here. Is this the woods? I could probably stack wipe you anyway, because you're low on morale. Not a good first roll. Let's see what we have here. Pretty decent second, good third, and that's all that's needed. No stack wipe, but a good start at least. Never have too much manpower. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Couldn't possibly agree more. How are you doing, France? They've done some good things. We've already gotten rid of... 53,000 British troops. So it should be a fairly relaxed war. Uh, Britain doesn't have much left after that. In total, they have... Actually, no, that's not true. Um, even after those, they, they probably have some units scattered around the planet, so... Okay, I see, I see. Should give the clergy some more land. They could probably use it in some places. Get to 40, then I can emissary the Pope. Grant this 
for some more admin. Speaking of that, all oh, right, I need to piece out the papal state before I can grab myself that. Okay, well, let's get Brandenburg down there as well. I really do want them to siege out Rome so we can get that modifier. It'd be really useful. Go ahead, grab that. Now, I wonder where Britain's deciding to land. They're probably going to try and defend the Isles. Quite reasonably. Don't know how effective that's going to be, though. Let's go down to Montgomery. And then you go down to London. Okay. 12,000 there, 12,000 there. This should be a quick-ish siege. Kind of, but also not really. How are you doing over there? Only 35%. If I could just... If I could just do this and help you out with that. If I could just... Can't even naval barrage. I get that I'm not in control of it. Like, please, it's my vassal. Can I not barrage... My vassal siege? Oh, was that a 7% siege? Okay, I guess I'm botting today. Interesting. Real marriage with France is over. Okay, that's whatever. Got a new one of those. And... These ships cannot group up. It's a real shame. As long as no one goes to invade them, we should be fine. I really need to stack wipe this, this stack, actually. So I'm going to follow it up, because it can't, it can't really move past these, these forts anyway, so... Basically, stack wipe in here. Yeah, okay, we're already, we're already there. No stack wipe, it's a shame, but whatever. I'll go and uh, fight back for Montgomery. Maybe they'll get 7% too? No. Okay. Rip. That's unfortunate, but... Free stack wipe for me, so I'm cool with it. Hopefully another one there. You can finally go to London. With 17,000 cannons. Which might be enough to siege it down? I don't really know. We'll see. I think in total we're going to end up with a lot more war score doing this than we ever could with just sieging France. So I do feel a little compromised in the current position, but we're doing all right. We can't move past the forts, so we can just get rid of them. Nice and easy on the hills, too. Maybe stack wipe on that one? Oh, it's beautiful. That was disgusting. All right, now maybe we can go for London. For like the sixth time, who knows? Seventh, even. Uh, as for the Papal States, they'll probably peace out, yeah. That's cool. I, I could take some land here, I guess, but, like, what am I going to do with four provinces in Africa of a different religion and unknown unrest values? I mean, I could just invade Africa, too. Someone said, uh, once upon a time, if I wanted to do airstrike, it would give me movement speed, and conquer Cannon Bornu would actually give me 15 morale, which would be good against the Ottomans. But I wouldn't need this land for it. I could just take this land anyway. Screw it, why not? I'll just take it, whatever. Land is land, and I'll, I'll just I'll just take it. It's not that much. Right, Papal State's out. Give me that, proclaim holy war, thank you. Even though there's absolutely nothing holy about this war, and I don't know if that should be allowed, but... Okay. Siege of al Gabia is over. Oh, you took my capital, you little... Mm, that's annoying. Oh, well... I'll take your capital, too. Tit for tat, perhaps. An eye for an eye. You know what? I'll do you one better. I'll burn it down, too. This game is in sore need of, uh... being able to burn someone's provinces. Think of how much fun that would be. By fun, I mean completely morally questionable, but... Think of how much fun that would be. 
Now, Tepunicum is actually lending one troop. Good, good for them, I guess. My allies aren't doing too bad a job at holding off the enemy, actually, surprisingly. And I'm wondering, can I move these ships over, or is that death? I'm kind of willing to risk death. Just a little. We're like convoy training. <laughs> all the all the ships in. I'm also Kaplan Diplo. I could use that for this, but that's a giant waste. Instead, I will drop some mercantilism on that real quick. Royal marriage has ended. Might as well keep going on that. What do I have here? Yeah, I still have Sid. It's been like the entire entire time we've been uh, playing, it's always been Hafsid. Interestingly enough. These guys could probably protect trade in Genoa. Probably. These guys over here can probably start sieging down Britain as well. Each down the rest of it, you know? Because I don't know if anyone is here anymore. I'll just let them spread out. I'm sure I have more than one unit on each, on each province, but we'll just spread them out. Cover the whole area. A new emperor, Ali II have Sid. Beautiful, an heir to the throne, which will immediately be chucked into the Mediterranean. Because that's not happening. Yeah, yeah, no way. No way am I taking that. That's, yeah, no. <laughs> no. I don't think so. Review over here. And we'll just do a quick sweep of this area. I don't think there's anyone left, but... Yeah, just in case, they're definitely gone now. Uh, France, can you please take the war goal? That would be much, much appreciated. I do only have 20,000 men. I can't quite fight those that one British army over there. I'm sure it was coming from, like, I don't know, over over here or something? Yeah, Britain owns this. Maybe it came from here. Maybe it came from down here. Definitely something weird happened here. Actually, yeah, no, it definitely came from, from down, because there were no British fleets in the Mediterranean. I don't think... I'm not sure, but I don't think so. Completely forgot about the Isles as well. That one's my bad. I'll go I'll go deal with those actually. With those dudes. From you and all of you guys up here. So I can go and get rid of you. The last thing I want is the uh, is the Hebrides to be sieged actually, so. If they do, then my fleet pops out, and I very, very well could have died. So I'm going to go deal with those. Ah, oh, it's my favorite event again. The one where I have to pick between bad and terrible. Lose 10 influence? Uh, hmm. Well, did the burgers matter that much? A little. I do want money, to be honest, but I don't need the money. I don't want to lose the army and navy tradition, though. I don't have much as it is. The burghers can afford to have more influence. I don't really want the nobility to be that upset, but I can pay off the, uh, the clergy just fine. So that's okay. And I can also get that money back really easily. I'm a little upset about the, uh, the nobility as well, but what can you do at that point? What can you even do? Okay, yeah, there we go. We're already at 61% on Britain. Which is pretty solid. Uh, you guys entered the Mediterranean. That one's your own fault. The only problem is that you... Well, we're also running lights, actually. We're both running lights. So I should destroy you. Unless somehow the British lights are just, you know, made of steel or something. I don't know. I don't think they are, so. 
We should be chilling. I did capture one ship. Now I captured a couple of useless transports. I guess I stopped them from doing weird invasion stuff, though, so that's a win. Okay, as for Britain itself, we've caught you down to a low point. I might just go for return cores at this point. I don't know what else I can take from Britain. We've occupied France, um, unless I could somehow walk into Ireland. I guess I could do that, actually. I guess I could just walk into Ireland. And yeah, free mercantilism is, is great, so I'll grab that. I'm going to see how risky it is for me to just casually walk into Ireland as if I own the place. Shouldn't be that bad. Um, it might take a, a province or two, but... I'm going to try my best to stop them from doing something stupid down here. Doesn't seem very likely that I'll succeed. I mean, this is just 20k versus like 30k. 36k, actually. But I'm apparently encouraging them to leave at least. And there goes Lisboa, but that's alright. You guys will take that back in time. Yeah, let's just walk into Ireland then. I don't know where the big scary British fleet is, but I don't even have to fight it. Maybe I do have to fight it, because the Isles are really annoying, but... Walk. Actually, don't. Don't walk. March. Run. Move fast. There we go. Great. Don't want to fight anything. I just want to be here. And grab the, um... Is that good? Yeah, it's fine. And grab the, the fort around here and do that stuff. 25% off mercantilism is nice. You guys can go and just burn down that fort. Unless for some reason I'm able to actually go down here and, and fix it. Or like help it out a little bit, maybe. If I'm lucky, maybe I can also move those guys into there. But it looks like uh, the Isles have a different idea, so. Wait for this one siege timer. And I'll move over to... Uh, not a fan of fighting British ships as much. We can move you guys across. And then we can move you back over there. Could grab that. Uh, I'm making a lot of Diplo. I should annex someone, probably. If I'm making this much Diplo. Uh, well, my reputation's been sabotaged, but luckily I just have such powerful Diplo rep anyway that it doesn't really matter. I'll roll Mary Leon, sure, that's fine. We seem to be doing okay. Yeah, we're still doing alright. I'm surprised it hasn't been 25 minutes on this war, on this war yet, so... That timer's probably going to start pretty soon. Let me uh, split you into six there. Something like this, maybe. Just cover over Ireland. I do want a 100% peace deal. If I'm going to have to spend five years at minimum on a truce, I'm definitely going to want to make it last as much as, you know, as long as, as I need it to so that those... So that base cost of five years isn't going to go to waste. Okay, we're at 78% uh, on Britain. Let's see what we can demand. We have 109 possible demands. Okay. I think that's not really how that works, but we'll see. So, we want Aquitaine. We want Laboulet as well. Maybe. I want pretty much... Most of France back, to be honest. Like, no lie, I'm kind of in the business of restoring all of France. These are all the French cores, by the way, that we can take back. And look how beautiful they are. I can also snake all the way down here in Britain. God, this is powerful. No, 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 no. I should, I should do something else. I didn't mean to do that. 
Well, there's the timer. Let me do this piece deal first. Sorry, I shouldn't have done the reset. What I should have done is I should have gone... Grabbed all the French cores. And all of mainland Britain. That's the power play. Because that still gives me access to walk into Britain and keep doing what I'm doing here. While also taking France and a whole bunch of that stuff. I could leave them with just this. I do want Le Bord, though. That's, that's a definite, yeah. They could keep... They can keep that, because it's pretty much landlocked. We can take a little bit of a little bit of money as well. Okay, that would be the ideal peace deal, I think, against Britain. So we can keep reinvading Britain as much as we want. We can take this. This is like France proper, pretty much. We just have to take a few things over here. Um, of course, we have Brittany to take, and I think that's almost all the requirements in France taken, almost, for like a dime. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Now, France is looking a little big, obviously. France is definitely a big boy. I'm going to have to uh, have to fix fix a couple of those problems as well, like placate and do a bunch of stuff. I'll start by placating. But uh, I'm not going to give this stuff to France. I'm actually going to court myself. The reason being, um, I mean, we really just can't. Give it to oh you actually want me to join that oh boy this is when i said i wouldn't do it right this is exactly when i said i would break that alliance people are leaving the coalition now though mm, it's a tough one it's a tough one we'll come back next time i think because if i hit escape yeah that's not gonna do any do anything bad with that so we'll come back next time and decide our stance on this for now this is corbett signing off Hoping you enjoyed the restoration of France, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a quick thank you for the following patrons for the month of May. In the $1 tier, we have Quiet Guy, Quigersol, Farron, DLNM, and TFLJ Martis. In the $3 tier, we have Ben Greenhagen. In the $5 tier, we have Justinian. In the $10 tier, Natsuki. And in the $20 tier, Chewy Shoot. Thank you guys so much for your pledges, it means a lot to me, and you're really helping to move this channel forward. Again, I cannot possibly thank you enough.